Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm gonna show you how to run perfect Facebook and Google ads for your Shopify store. And this is by far the most important part of your e-commerce business. And there's really nothing that even comes close. If you run good ads, you're going to win with e-commerce. And uh, paid ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, Google ads, they are by far the most important part, important factor for you to succeed with your e-commerce store. And it's really simple. If you have good ads, you're gonna be able to drive a perfect customers, make those sales, make money. If you have bad ads, you're gonna, even if you have the uh, most uh, perfect product, you're just not gonna be able to find those customers. So it's really all about ads, optimizing your ads, running good campaigns, and being consistent. If you do that, you're gonna be really well positioned to win with Shopify, but there are definitely some pain points that you might run into. Running great campaigns can be definitely challenging. Not only is it sometimes technically challenging, but there's a lot of ongoing management and maintenance, reading the reports, understanding what's going on with your analytics. That's a really, really big challenge for a lot of Shopify entrepreneurs. And you need to understand the marketing trends, not just inside your store in terms of your own analytics, but what's going on with your overall niche in general. And this is gonna allow you to kind of combine the analytics of how your ads are performing, the clicks, all the important stats, combine that with an overall understanding with your niche's entire market. That's how you create the ideal marketing strategy for your own business and allow you to run those Facebook ads, those Google ads, to make sure that they're gonna, con that they're gonna convert at the highest level. And again, to make sure that you have your online marketing all buttoned up so you can generate those customers at a cost-effective level. So I'm gonna be showing you this really cool app called LeBeg really, really powerful, going to allow you to truly understand everything that is needed to build that ideal marketing strategy and then have those Facebook and Google ads really come out on top. This is the LeBeg Smarter Marketing app. And first thing to take a look at, perfect five out of five star reviews on over 40 reviews right now. The app simply does exactly what I was describing, allowing you to create those perfect marketing campaigns for Facebook ads, Google ads. And you're going to be able to check out your Facebook and Google ads analytics analyze and predict your customer lifetime values. And most importantly, you're gonna get those actionable insights. You're gonna be able to actually see exactly what's working and what's working best across the entire market. That's what's so valuable. And there's a lot of different features. We're gonna go over the shoulder, but a lot more than just analytics. We have the AI copy creation, the actionable insights to allow you to really figure out what's going on. And really before that, analyzing your competitors, like I said, understanding the entire market, What's working with your competitors? What are they doing? And how can you kind of learn from that to build your ideal marketing plan? You're gonna see the market benchmarks in terms of numbers that you should shoot for or even beat to be among the best. And there's a lot more measuring your customer lifetime value, a cool part of the analytics as well. And again, the link is directly below this video. Definitely invite you to check it out. But we're gonna go ahead and install this in a store right now. And I'm gonna show you just how powerful LaBeg is. So we're just pressing add app. It's gonna bring us into the install app page where all we need to do is press this install app button. No technical skills required or anything like that. We're gonna be able to get into our LeBeg account. All we need to do is set up our account here. So enter in your uh, email over here and now we'll do our different onboarding. You see the Shopify connection of course already made when we did the install app. What we wanna do next, connect our Facebook ads and Google ads so we can start to pull in all of the information from there. So we'll start over here with Facebook ads connection, pressing connect now. It's gonna simply walk us through the Facebook connection here through our business account to make sure that all of our ads, all of our data can be pulled through. So we're literally just gonna click through this on Facebook and then it will bring us back into the app. So literally just click through. If you might have multiple accounts, you could select different ones, but really just as easy as it is, we are connected right there with Facebook. And you wanna connect Facebook, also obviously gonna connect with Instagram as well. Now you're gonna to start to see all of the different ad accounts in here and then you'll select whichever one you want to have connected again you might have multiples you might just have one feel free to connect multiples if you need to i'm going to focus on one account over here now of course we want to continue on into the google ads connection same exact thing except we're going to be on google this time and we're just simply going to grant permission over here for adwords and we'll pull in all of the different information if you're not using google adwords yet definitely you want to sign up but make sure you connect it anyway so you could have everything ready to go google ads a lot easier for that connection and now we're done Data is gonna to begin to be imported here. This could take a while, depending on how much data you already have in your account. So everything is in here and good to go now. And uh, you'll see that this is gonna kind of be your uh, little reflection here where it shows you a summary of what's going on. And more importantly, it shows up anything or shows specifically things that you need to spend some attention on, some red flags over here. And got a pretty good score 
over here on uh, the Facebook side of things. And we can take a look through all of these different ones. We have the Google down here, number of accounts, remarketing audiences. So when you basically have something that is checked off here as an X, you want to come over, click explore more and start to understand exactly what we want to do here. Okay. And what we want to add. So it's going to give you a step-by-step -step in terms of how to do that. Basically it's saying, Hey, you don't have a remarketing list on here. We want to definitely have remarketing. That's basically what Google calls retargeting. And now it's going to step us through how to create that remarketing list. And really cool thing about uh, Google ads, a little bit different than Facebook ads. You could of course use your YouTube information to build those audiences. So if you have a nice YouTube audience, you can go ahead and use that. But this is the whole idea about LeBeg, right? We're going to get those best practices and you're going to make sure that you have them enabled. So now we come over here, it's literally showing you we're getting a uh, minus 15 impact on our score here, mostly because we don't have conversion tracking properly set up. And we come over here, take a look, customer list uploaded to the account that we're no customer list. So we can go ahead and add that click over here. It's going to send us right into the, again, step-by-step, step, right? Not only step-by-step, step, but why you want to do it. Well, you can target people from other sources. You could use your email list, your newsletter. You could exclude customers. If you wanted to get new customers only on your ads, you could uh, exclude non-paying uh, people on your list. So you only do VIP customers. You could build lookalikes, all these important things going to give you the step-by-step step on how to do it. So you could really go through every single part of your Facebook ads and your Google ads. Of course, that covers Instagram and YouTube as well. Those ad accounts, and you'll want to go and make sure that you have checks on all these. All right. And again, we have a lot of ads over here. So this is going to take a little bit more in terms of actually going ahead and reading the ad copy and understanding how we're doing on that will give us actionable insight if we're not doing something right. Let's say we are doing something right. For example, conversion tracking. Of course, we get that little check mark over here. So uh, negative keywords used, we're doing that bidding strategy, we have that set up right. Shopping campaigns, we don't have active shopping campaigns. So again, it's going to tell us, go ahead. Here's the benefits of using shopping campaigns, especially with e-commerce, right? No brainer over here. And we have the shopping campaigns step by step on how to set this up. So really, really cool in terms of uh, actionable insight here on your setup red flags. And this is really just the start. This is just the start of LeBeg. You can come back over here and we'll take a look at all of the different uh, little uh, features or feature sets in here. We'll go to the business report real quick. We just have this in a little demo store, but it's gonna pull in all of your relevant information, Shop Shopify revenue, first time revenue, Shopify orders, first time orders, new customers, basically, right? Your return on investment because it's pulling in all of the different sources because we connected our Facebook ads or Google ads. Same thing over here, under advertising insights, pulling in all of the different data from your accounts. Market insights really, really like this showing you in the range of your market. And this is where the LeBeg algorithm really kind of transforms your business. You're going to see how you do next to your competition. And this is going to kind of get smarter the longer you have it installed. Again, we just have this in a demo store, but it's going to pick out the average CTR, the high range and the low range, the upper bound, lower bound. And you're going to see exactly where you sit. Here's the market average around one, right? And obviously if we see ad sets or campaigns or uh, products that are getting us above the upper bound range, we're going to want to focus on those. If we see them on the lower end, we're, no, we're going to know we're going to need to make some tweaks to our ads. And that's all about LeBeg's insights and then giving you that step by step in terms of how to do that. But I really like looking at this. And again, we just have a demo store right now, but we come in over here and take a look at conversion rate and we can compare uh, compare that next to other people. Or we could say, OK, what's the opportunity for us to increase? Right. We want to increase our conversion rate. And then we can take a look at the projected impact in terms of numbers and cents. Again, this gets a lot smarter once it's in a store with a lot of data and a lot of imported data, taking a look at the lifetime value analysis, also really looking at different cohorts, basically saying, okay, who's making the most money for you? Who are the customers that you want to focus on? And they know all this because again, that direct integration with Shopify funnel analysis as well. So talking about how can you compare your checkout or not, not compare, how could you increase the conversion at your checkout? And again, we have a little demo store here, but it's going to show all of your conversion stats. And really what we want to see is the lowest amount of uh, um, abandonment, right? We want to see how we can get that click through rate all the way to uh, add to cart, check out, initiate checkout and purchase to be as high as we can. And back over here, this is that setup red flags over here. This will continue to update. If things change, hopefully you'll be able to take advantage or, or I'm sorry, uh, take control of these little X's, turn them into check marks over here. Taking a look at your competitor analysis, really cool over here. Again, we'll get smarter as you run the store more, but we can come right in over here and put in some competitors. So I'll go ahead, I'll put in a couple competitors here, add it and uh, go ahead and add another one over here. So you put in whatever competitors you want. We can save these over here and we'll start analyzing. And the really cool part about this, again, looking at opportunity, looking about how you compare, uh, giving you insight in terms of what you need to focus on, right? Is your click-through rate too low? Is your conversion rate too low? 
all of the different kind of competition analysis that you want to get now becomes actionable with LeBeg. You'll see the, the page refresh when you add your competitors and then after 24 hours, it will start to give you uh, very specific reports and actions in terms of how you're comparing and really better than that, what you can do to beat your competition. Nice uh, little new tool here as well, always adding new features to LeBeg, copy creation tool. So again, we're talking about what are the best practices? What are the ways to really take full control of your marketing and really dominate? Well, copy definitely one of them. And we're talking about the GPT-3 language model. If you don't know what that is, it's basically kind of the best practice in terms of how you can create this copy. And we're gonna come over here. We're going to uh, accept these terms. We're gonna allow for copy suggestions to become right through our, the link of our site. We could add the product name and we could literally generate product types over here. I'll just put this over here. And uh, we could literally have a full kind of set, something like uh, cat lover t-shirt, super soft, made of cotton. And we can create copy suggestions very, very easily. This is really cool, especially if you get stuck at uh, creating the copy. And it's often the last step in your Facebook ads or your Google ads uh, process. You set everything up, you create the ad image, then you need to have the copy. Here we go. Well, we literally can create something right through here where it says, I love my cat. If you're really serious about your cat lover pride, then this is a no brainer. Literally sounds like something I would write actually talking about affirming the customer's choice, affirming the customer's passion where we say, hey, we love cats as well. We know you love cats. If you really wanna show off being a cat lover, get our product Then it starts to describe our products. A lot of different variations. If you want something shorter, right? You can go ahead and make this algorithm even smarter by showing what you like and what you dislike and get more suggestions. Incredibly powerful. You can play with this tool all day. This is just one of the tools inside of LeBeg. Again, all about getting your marketing to be at that tip top level. So that's LeBeg, the smarter marketing app. As you see, incredibly easy to use, also incredibly powerful. Highly recommend it. I use it personally and uh, all my students do as well. So get this in your store. You're gonna be able to get that 14 day free trial. You'll see just how powerful this is. And really, if you're not having success with Facebook ads, Google ads, or if you wanna have more success, you gotta get this app in there. Check out everything that's working with your competition, with your lifetime value optimizations, with your ad optimizations, and see your brand take it to the next level. So again, link directly below this video, highly recommended. Hope this video helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.